YTBC. This is your boy, Cole <laughs> Shield. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, you butt hurt Triple G fans. Oh Lord. You know what? I'm gonna start this video off by giving Dante's Boxing Nation and Northwest Boxing 24-7. I got to give those two brothers some shout outs, okay? Uh, people, listen. My thing to you, Andre Ward detractors. How y'all go to explain this? I mean, tell me this, okay? Now, y'all don't like Andre Ward for your various reasons, okay? Andre Ward is a man of God. Andre Ward is a very humble person. Andre Ward is a very respectable person. Andre Ward is a family man. He's a family man. The man is a class act. You guys don't like Andre Ward. I know you don't like him. You guys hate the name of Andre Ward like Andre Ward is the name of Jesus. Y'all can't stand it. But I got to tell you, the fight with Sullivan Barrera is official. <laughs> you know my question to you guys is, how you going to explain this? Now, you guys been running around the YTBC for months at a time talking about Andre Ward is a coward. When is he going to fight somebody, even though he did win the Super 6 tournament? But let's not digress back to that. Andre Ward is going to take his first test at 175 with a Sullivan Barrera. Sullivan Barrera is a credible opponent. What are you guys going to say now? How are you guys going to explain this? Uh, I know what y'all are going to try to say. Now you're going to try to discredit Sullivan Barrera. I know how you guys think. You guys were on the Manny Pacquiao bandwagon. You jumped off that ship when he got knocked out by Marquez, okay? All right, you guys are now on the Triple G bandwagon when Triple G get his ass whooped. Okay, you guys are going to jump off the Triple G bandwagon. You guys are probably going to jump the Tyson Fury. That's how y'all guys roll, okay? See, y'all ain't jumping the Tyson Fury yet because too many of the brothers, we love Tyson Fury. I like him anyway. Hell, I, I like Tyson Fury. Shit, Tyson Fury cracked me up. You know, if he won the fight, it won't even matter to me. But let me tell some of you guys something. You guys, right now, you guys, what y'all going to say? How are you guys going to explain this? Because Andre Ward has moved up in weight. And he's fighting. Sullivan Barrera, who is tough. The boy can hit. He can hit. I can imagine. Hey, yeah, I can imagine Jay-Z and Andre Ward talking. Here go Jay-Z to my, hey, yo, Ward, I signed your name under contract. And guess who you're fighting? Barrera, Barrera, and Ayo hey, Ward. Hey, it's me, Jigga. I signed your name on the contract. And guess who else you're going to fight? Who? Kovala. Kovala. <laughs> That's why, you idiots. He is going to fight Kovala. But I know what y'all going to say. Well, that fight hadn't been signed yet. Oh, uh, coach, he ain't going to fight Kovala. No, there's no way he's going to fight. Okay. You guys are going to try to discredit Barrera. That's what y'all going to do. See, we already know your MO here in the YTBC. We know what y'all going to do. You extreme Triple G fanboys, you're going to try to discredit Barrera. Now you're going to try to say that Barrera is not tough competition. Because I want to know how you guys are going to explain this one. I, I, I got to know this one. I got to know this one. I'm rolling Andre Ward all the way. Andre Ward is my dude. Andre Ward is a humble man. Andre Ward is a respectful person. Andre Ward is talented. Andre Ward knows how to pivot. He knows how to pivot at the hips, man. The guy knows how to snap and pop his jab back and return his jab back to the holster. Andre Ward has the speed. He does two and three punch combinations, rotates out of there. I like Andre Ward. Andre Ward is the truth. Andre Ward is on a whole nother talent level. So you guys can't handle a lot of people giving Andre Ward all these praise, man. I'm going to give Andre Ward so much praise, I'm going to make y'all throw up. And that's just the way that is. Andre Ward is fighting an incredible opponent. How y'all going to explain this? How are you bobblehead, dial, sip ass Triple G fans going to explain this? You can't explain it. You can't because you guys know. In the back of y'all heart, you know that Triple G ain't fighting no damn body. What? Uh, who Triple G? Co Matt Cobra? Cobra? Triple G don't fight Cobra? <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm choked up, man. 
And you have some Triple G fans excited about this. Yeah, y'all excited. Because Triple G get to live another day. Triple G get to fight another bum. And look who wore it. Let's just do the comparison. Forget it. Resume, resume, resume. Triple G got a bad resume. Andre, and, 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 and let's say if Andre would beat Barrera. He get to add another person to his resume. Better than Triple G. Hell, Barrera better than every fighter that Triple G done ever fought. But Triple G would never try to fight a Barrera because he, he ain't daring to be great anyway. This dude daring to be a bum. We know your game plan, Triple G, is to make as much money as you can without taking, with taking less damage, okay? Taking as less damage as you, as you can, making all the money, and then Triple G gonna get out. Look, man, this was gonna happen. Some young stud gonna beat the hell out of Triple G when he's about 37, 38. That's gonna be his first test, man. I'm telling y'all, Triple G is on his way to getting knocked out. And he is, man. You're gonna keep fighting these bums, and when you're gonna get a bum, you're gonna get a Buster Douglas in a bum. I'm telling you. You going I can, I can compare this to Mike Tyson. Yeah, Mike Tyson was fighting all these guys, knocking these guys out, man. And he finally stepped up and fought a Buster Douglas, man. And what happened? Okay? And then you're gonna get Triple G fighting all these guys and fighting all these guys. And you're gonna get one of these bums that's got some skill, man. Underrated, man. He gonna go under the radar. And what he gonna do? He gonna knock Triple G the hell out, man. He gonna whoop Triple G ass. And it's gonna be a bum that come out of nowhere. I'm trying to tell y'all this what's gonna happen. But see, dream chasing boxing. We said about five months ago, we said, I mean, he been saying it that Andre Ward will probably fight Barrera. I said it a few months ago that Andre Ward will fight Barrera. Captain Punch Boxing said a few months ago that Andre Ward will fight Barrera. Ticket TV said that Andre Ward will fight Barrera. Town Business said that Andre Ward will fight Barrera. But you guys just seem to think that we're just these uh, pro-black uh, panther uh, channels. That's what y'all call us. Y'all call us this. But right now we're speaking some truth. How y'all going to explain this? I got to put it back in y'all face. You know I'm going to laugh at y'all every chance I get. I'm going to drop a video every chance I get because you Andre Ward detractors are some of the biggest idiots in the sport of boxing. And don't you worry, Northwest Boxing 24-7. I got your back too, okay? And I'm going to make a response video to Northwest. I'm making a response video to Northwest because Northwest, now you're starting to see what we see, okay? Now you're seeing exactly the same thing that we seeing. But I gotta give a shout out. Matter of fact, let me give a shout out to all the OGs, man. Blood Boxing, 78, Dante, Ego. Because they all been saying, and 78 really put his neck on the line. But I'm gonna talk about that in another video. See, all you, all you people, all you fanboys, all you fanboys now that's been hating on Andre Ward, calling Andre Ward a coward, I wonder what the hell y'all gonna say today. The day is Friday, January 29th. What are you fanboys going to say today? You see, you fanboys, you got nothing else to say. Because it's been you. You, you the fanboys, been running around here talking about Andre Ward needs to fight better competition. When, when Triple G ain't fought nobody in his whole damn career. But you guys talking about Andre Ward need to fight credible competition. Andre Ward ain't, hadn't done anything since the Super 6 tournament. But at least Andre Ward had enough guts to get in the ring with all the guys at a Super 6 tournament. And Triple G ain't had enough guts to even move up one damn weight class. I'm going in hard. Going in hard today. And that's just the way that is. Congratulations, Andre Ward. Because now you're stepping up to be the champion that you really need to be. You beat Burrell. You beat Kovalev. You will be number one pound for pound. Forget all the haters, Andre Ward. Forget them because they don't want you to succeed, man. And they don't like you. And I can tell you, I, I know five people will come in my comment section and tell me, why do you think these guys don't like Andre Ward? Tell me. Tell me the truth. Why do you think they don't like Ward? Andre Ward is humble. Andre Ward is pleasant. Andre Ward is a man of God. Andre Ward is a family man. Andre Ward is a class act. You tell me in the comment section why don't they like Andre Ward and that's just the way that is. This is your boy Coach Shelton Harrison. I'm done.